Yo, yo, Sab Soul, the Black Lip Pastor, TDE High Power. Shout out to Montreality, man. That's what you're watching right now, man. Stay focused. Um, I was the one sleep. I was in great classes though, like AP honors classes. I got tested like early in elementary, like for like gifted classes and shit like that. I don't know how, I don't know the logistics and shit. My mom did all that cool shit, but I was always in like very cool classes and I was always actually really good with all of my teachers. I'm still good with my, like my high school teachers. I've, I've been back to my school, uh, Carson High, a few times to, you know, go take pictures with the kids and shit, you know, but, uh, yeah, I was the I was the AP honors class student sleep in the back. That was me. I worked at the rec. My, I had a family owned record shop that my uh, grandfather owned. My mom and my grandma ran it in Carson, California. It was called Magic Disc Music, and I, I had a cradle in there. So I was there up until I was working there up until April of 2011 when I went on the paid dues tour and it closed indefinitely. That's, that's where I was at. I had a couple other jobs. Like I worked at like Target and like, I sold like cell phones in the mall, like in the kiosk and shit. You know what I mean? I gave it to my moms for sure. Gave it straight to moms. Like what we gonna do with it? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, I actually do, but I can't really see that well. So I kind of like the audio books now. You know what I mean? The audio books are real cool and shit. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like to listen more than read. Slipping through the crack. Don't steal my idea, man. Don't steal my idea. I got that from my grandpa. Um, it's debatable, man. It's quite a lot of lifetimes. I mean, like that's what I'm saying. Like it's quite a lot. I think I've quite. I, I, I might have done it all, bro. To be honest with you, I kind of feel like I've done it all. I think this might. I think I might. I might not come back after this one. You feel what I'm saying? You might not come back here after this one, you know what I'm saying? You might go somewhere else. Mighty Mouse. The cut was hard. And I was like, I used to draw and shit when I could see good, and I like to draw cubs. Mighty Mouse was the illest cartoon character ever. Like, you know, and this is back when I could like see, you know what I mean? I kind of lost my vision at like 10, but I used to like, like NBA Live and like Tekken and like, uh, you know, I played like, you know, Grand Theft Auto. All the Grand Theft Autos were very tough, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't tell you how the world function, but I'm headed to the function. Shit ain't about nothing. No, this shit ain't about nothing. But it's gotta be something. They say I'm so selfish. I ain't think about nothing. I ain't think about nothing. Matter of fact, fuck that. I ain't worried about nothing. No, I ain't worried about nothing. It's always something. Um, you know, I took my time with it. That's what I can tell you about it. Um, I think it's well, you know, I think it's a, a very uh, diverse piece of work, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, I wish I could, you know, share more juicy details with you, you know what I mean? Soon, man, sooner than you think, you know what I mean? I'm working out the logistics right now, you feel me? So, you know, very, very soon. I think so. I think it'll happen. You know what I'm saying? When the when the time is right, when the you know when the when that check is right. I mean, like you know, I don't want like people to think like Kendrick is like like uh, like Lil Wayne or like Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not G Unit. You know what I mean? Like my boss is not like Kendrick. Kendrick didn't sign me. Kendrick didn't add me to his group. You understand what I'm saying? This is a collective long before it was Black Hippie. We were all together. So I just I just wanted that to be known, you know, to the world. You know what I mean? Don't get the wrong idea. Like, you know, this, you know, we're not, I'm not, a, we're not like band members or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? We don't just like stand in the background and like dance when Kendrick raps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Bro, and you know Trev, look, you know, and I've been seeing that, like, that's, that's not messed up. Me and Kendrick aren't co-workers. That's my brother. That's my family. You know, and he deserves everything that's happening, and I'll answer every question about it. I'm not bothered by that at all. Kendrick's success is a, it assists my success. You know what I'm saying? He, he's he's going to be in a platform to, 
represent me to his audience one day, and if I'm ready, maybe they'll accept me too. So, you know, I, you know, just for the record, like Kendrick is my we, TD. We are family. We are not coworkers. Those are my brothers. I'll take a bullet for him. You understand what I'm saying? Like, just understand that it's not. This is not. You feel what I'm saying? It's not like work. We're not like you know. Sure, we competitive. We all want to be number one, of course. But I want to see. I want to see all of them be number one. If it's not me, it's got to be one of them. You feel me? So that's just for the record. You know what I mean? I'm not bothered by the Kendrick Lamar questions. Ask them all. I answer them all. At this point, it's just kind of like man. At this point, at this point, at all the shit that I've seen, it's just like how, that's how it is, man. Like Eminem will kind of be foolish to not have one of at this point. You know, especially you know the whole aftermath of Empire. You gotta think, you know what I mean? That's Dr. Dre. You know that that's that's a big. You know, it would be it's very essential for Eminem to include him in that in that rotation. And I really appreciate him for doing that. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Like for Marshall Mathers LP, it's one of my favorite albums. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to hear the next one. Jay Z, hands down. Jay Z. Uh, if I can get a record with Jay before he before he checks out, mission complete. If I could bring up the reasonable doubt of Jay, I think I'd be pretty fucking epic. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, Jay is Jay. You know, I, I can't really box him into a certain sound. He kind of really transcends every time. You know what I mean? It, it kind of all it's all threaded together. You know what I mean? Still, he still got the uh, that same. You know, he still give me the same feel from back then. You know, now. True. Really want to know the truth? In God we trust. I think mine is close, bro. I've kind of been thinking my whole life, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. But I mean, you know, I think my third eye is closed. I think yours is too. You know what I mean? I think, you know, the um, a lot of the workings of the world, you know, have uh, kind of worked against those type of ideas, if you, if you can feel what I'm saying. So, you know, I just kind of, hey, when, I, when I heard about the concept, you know what I mean, it was just a cool concept. And I think more so to me because of my lack of vision anyway. I think that's why the third eye kind of, all seeing eye kind of re resonates with me because I can't see all that great anyway, you feel what I'm saying? So that idea, and make it like, you know, make things like limitless for you, you know what I'm saying? We could be, we could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? We could have four of them motherfuckers, man. Help? Help, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, experience, uh, experimentation is, I think, uh, led the world. You know, I think that's what has to be done for evolution, uh, for progress. People have to take risks and, you know, try new things, if you, you know, if you will. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to say that, like, drugs help the process, but I want to say that, you know, different chemicals do different things, you know, and, you know, we all, you know, everybody goes to the doctor and gets drugs, you know what I mean, and medicines that help for certain reasons, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like that with everything, you feel what I'm saying? I feel, it's, but I, I won't say, I, I think that we all, I think we're all born with everything that we need, though, already. Well, I think we're born with that already. We don't need any additional assistance. Uh, I mean, it's all possible. You know, I'm open-minded to a lot about that, and that ending is kind of, it's very open-ended. You know what I'm saying? It's very wide-ended. But, uh, you know, he's a pioneer of the whole, you know, he's, he's one of the pioneers of the game, I feel like. He kind of showed us an example of how far this could go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could do this shit to the death if you want to. You feel what I'm saying? That's how you feel, you know what I mean? You could, you could do this shit to the death. So I think that's what I think that's what, what Pac represents. Just keep trying, man. Don't quit. Just keep trying. That's, that's the best thing I can say to you. Keep trying. I don't care how old you get, how broke you get. You know, I, I feel, you know, if you guys are gonna come feel me and ask me these cool questions, like I, I have a responsibility to give back to you too. You know what I'm saying? I think. Just keep trying as long as you keep, as long as you're breathing, man. You know what I'm saying? You, can, you got, you got, you got time. As long as you're breathing, you got time.
bar. And the hoop. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Shit, that was only only two ways out. Nigga, basketball or playing or you know, rapping. I did both. I was pretty good, but I didn't grow tall. So <laughs> I was short as you and shit.